Hi, welcome to a special episode of Cooking with Andy. We are going to be cooking super moist carrot cake. And we're going to start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. So as I go over here, just one second, let me just check what's happening here. Hello, this is Andy from Cooking with Andy. Are you serious? Okay. Okay. Can I bring my viewers along as well? Okay. Okay. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, today, folks, we have a special, special edition of Cooking with Andy. Today, we're not going to be cooking, but we're going to be watching this horrible weather that's outside. So, if you just wait for me, I'll just meet you outside, and we'll be all set. Okay, and welcome to a special edition of Cooking with Andy. Um, I'm going to be, this stormy weather that's coming along today is the newest monsoon to hit Arizona today. Um, uh, let's walk this way because I don't want um, Actually, the wind has died down quite a bit since the um, original dis destruction that happened here. A house had just burned down down there. Um, the weather seems to be unstable and not ready to go, so let's hope something happens. Okay, I'm going to be driving into the, um, in my truck, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finding the storm, as a matter of fact. So, if you just want to hop in, I'll see you inside. As you can see, the clouds are stirring up pretty bad, badly up in front up here. It's pretty dark, and usually it's pretty bright and hot at this time, about 5 or 9 p.m. So I'm just going to be looking for a good storm, and maybe we'll hit some rain, and maybe not. But As you can see, there's a lot of rain just above the mountains. Um, actually, it's probably going to hit us within the next, uh, within the half hour or so. The mountains are right there. This is the McDonald Mountains. Um, I did do a Cooking with Andy show, by the way, on the top of uh, the highest peak on the McDonald Mountains, and I cooked um, a very good steak that we cooked from deer. We're going to the courtyards of Aster. Here they will be, uh, here's where I actually filmed the episode where they actually keep heat in the place. And as you can see, they haven't really adjusted it since. My bad, uh, I had really bad public there because um, we were, at the meantime I was on, uh, in a fighting with uh, that old lady with accent. Driving less. Does that not plug in or something? And uh, here's someone we can interview up there. We are in this area today because I'm just going to show you where actually 
where the water actually does go when it does rain. Actually, the water will actually come down, down this way and flow under and manage to get down into this walking path. As you can see, it has been corroded and water has flown through here before. Um, along this path, sorry. Yes, rain has just come over the McDowell Mountains and it should be hitting soon. Um, uh, as you can see, it's very dirty and things are actually falling down on me and the sea. Um, this is actually a popular place for kids, painting and fish, but um, this is actually one of the most dangerous places you would want to be. You wouldn't want to be in a, uh, in a rainstorm because you're in a valley, you're, you're, getting, you're getting wet, and it's just a horrible, horrible place to go to be. Uh, water will go down here. Water will flow down every hill. This is probably the best place for water to go because then it will actually lead you the water down on this hill. But this is actually a popular rollerblading area as well. It is starting to rain right now, so we're going to get back into the car. Could have been stolen. It is imminent. It is gonna rain. See the that thing? Uh, all these cars are up because they are trying to get home. Uh, this is a massive storm, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't a this isn't a game. This is a storm. I'll be showing you the rear view of the storm as we're driving. So buckle up and be safe. trip to from behind. As you can see there's a massive amount of storm coming on the way. It's not very safe to be in the back. This is only the best way we can actually hear and actually see the storm without having the wind all over us. Oh, I'm just the back there. Um, Person who doesn't know much about the storm and his hand, he's probably gonna lose his baby to the lightning or the rain or something that does actually wind up happening. Um, right now, in the back of this truck, I'm gonna give you guys a word of advice. Whatever you do, don't walk out in a storm. Don't, don't do anything that could harm you because. <laughs> because driving like this is, is, is not safe and nothing is, nothing is these days. It's just dangerous, just horribly dangerous. You can see someone who's looking at me. And here's someone we can interview right here. Um, I have a question for you real quick. Um, do you realize the dangers of walking in a storm? Yes. Um, why are you doing it then? I, well, I'm on my way home. Uh, still, um, I was just mentioning to my viewers that walking with a, even a helpless victim, uh, this dog would not know what exactly you are doing, and it will be fall victim to the to the harshness of the storm. Well, I was just kind of playing fast and loose like the wild woman that I am. Well, I really would suggest that you stop that. We're going to be. 
taking the dog and, and hopefully you'll learn your lesson next time. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, I got a dog out of today, didn't I? 9 As I predicted before, it is uh, raining and uh, and I did tell you it was becoming within a matter of minutes of coming. So here it is. It's, this is just a smaller part of it. It's gonna come down a lot harder, as you can see the clouds and the lightning actually flashing now from a distance. Um, at this time, uh, I would suggest that you evacuate Scottsdale and all the rest of the area because it is dangerous. Uh, we will be moving to a safer location. Um, uh, it just doesn't look good. It really doesn't look good. It's just, it's scaring me. It's, it's scaring me. Oh, thanks. Oh man, it's scaring me so bad. Ah. Now it's starting to come down pretty bad, as you can see. It's, it's showing no mercy. It's not good. <laughs> Well, I got a lot to do now. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. All right. What we have here is a code nine. Uh, in other words, it's a code red, and which means the whole Scottsdale vicinity and Phoenix area is going to be evacuated. So I would suggest you to pack up your stuff and be warned you will be leaving probably within the next 30 minutes or so. The, you will be leaving on a public bus and they will take you to a Apache Junction where you will be safe. Stop now and grab my last bite to eat before I have my public food. Um, Thank you for joining us today on Cooking with Andy, uh, the special edition. Uh, next time we will be cooking carrot cake, as we were originally were going to be doing. But uh, I apologize about that inconvenience, but I know this breaking story will make the difference in all of our lives. I'll see you next time on Cooking with Andy. Thank you.